Prince William celebrated Kate Middleton's cooking skills in the past, but the Princess of Wales' love of intense flavor is too much for her husband. The couple appeared on a Tuesday, October 10th, episode of Radio 1's Going Home with Vic and Jordan, and they subtly mentioned their eating habits. The duo had a relatable moment when thinking about what they'd eat for dinner. Are you cooking? Kate asked William on the audio program. No, I think it will probably be a curry won't it tonight? William answered. So, you're looking to me. Kate responded. It depends what time we get back, William said before Kate quickly added, yeah, it probably will be a curry or teriyaki salmon, something like that. While listening to Kate's meal ideas, William admitted that he can't handle the heat of her beloved dish. I can't do too much spice, I start sweating. It's not attractive, William jokingly said. Whereas I like the spice so I have to sort of cook the curry and then add the spice, extra spice at the end, Kate explained. Kate and William's outing was in honor of World Mental Health Day, and the partners arrived alongside BBC Radio 1 and The Mix for a Birmingham forum. Today, more people feel empowered to talk about their mental health than ever before. This is a major step forward, Kate told a crowd. William and I continue to be inspired to see young people, like you all here today, leading this charge, being particularly brave in having some of those conversations yourselves. As a generation, you value and talk more about your mental health than any before you, something we truly admire and applaud," she added. On the other side of the pond, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry were in New York City hosting their own event. The Archwell Foundation Parents Summit, Mental Wellness in a Digital Age brought together parents who have experienced tragic loss, connected to their child's social media use, for a discussion on building community and creating a safer online world for young people, the organization said in a statement. The Sussex's team later explained that the American-based royals hoped to mobilize the public to protect youngsters from the internet. During an intimate conversation, these parents discussed how they are using their stories to inspire action and raise awareness of the dangers to young people's mental health, their press release read. The parents, whom the Archwell Foundation has engaged with over the past year, highlighted the strength and community they have found through a shared passion for creating meaningful change to prevent more families from this tragedy, it continued. In his introduction, Harry told the attendees the reasoning behind the panel. I think for us, for myself and my wife, with kids growing up in a digital age, the priority here is to again turn pain into purpose and provide as much support as well as a spotlight and a platform for these parents to come together, to heal, to grieve and to also collectively focus on solutions so that no other family anywhere has to go through what they've been through," Harry said. The Duchess of Sussex quickly gushed over the joys of parenthood. Being a mom is the most important thing in my entire life, outside, of course, being a wife to this one," she exclaimed.